Hello, my name's Ian Silvera. I'm a business reporter at the International Business Times UK, and I'm here at St. Simon's Church to visit the Hammersmith and Fulham Food Bank. How long have you been running the food bank? Well, the food bank has been open to the public since June 2010, so just over three years. And how many people do you, on average or typically speaking, get in the food bank? We see an average of sort of 20 to 40 people per week. In the last year, have you seen an increase in the amount of clients coming to the food bank? We've seen a huge increase in this financial year alone, beginning 1st of April 2013. We have already provided uh, food to approximately 2,000 people. In the whole of the previous year, we provided uh, enough food for 2,600 people. What food do you tend to supply to mm. the clients? We give all of our clients enough food to prepare up to 10 meals for themselves and their dependents. It's a, a long life, non-perishable diet. Um, it's been designed by an NHS dietitian, and it consists of things like you know, breakfast cereal, milk, UHT milk, UHT juice, tinned soups, tinned meat, tinned veg, tinned fruit, uh, tea, coffee. It's, it's a good, rounded uh, diet of food. Okay, great. Um, what do you feel the importance of food banks, particularly at the moment, coming out of the economic crisis, is for the community? I think it's, it's a vital importance. I, I see too many people every day who say to me that if they hadn't come to the food bank, they'd have had nothing to eat. And many people who haven't eaten already for days by the time they come to us, people who have been shoplifting or are tempted to shoplift. What are the main concerns for people coming to the food bank? What are the main problems that they are facing in day-to-day -day life? Uh, for many people, the reason why they're referred here is due to a benefit issue. So the benefits have been cut. Um, they may be challenging that, and so there's uh, time being spent doing that. Um, or, or there's uh, been a delay to the benefits. You get people who, I think we're seeing more people who are ill, uh, often through stress and breakdowns. 